Congrats on the new book. The new thriller is out today. The title, Everyone Here is Lying. So I'm plowing through this one. Let's tell other folks about the book. Well, it's I can't tell you too much because I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But the way it opens is um, a man has come home from um, in the middle of the day and he's supposed to be at work, but he's actually been to see his mistress and she has just dumped him. So he's in a bad state. So he sneaks home to be alone. But his difficult nine-year-old daughter is also home because she's been sent home from school for misbehaving. And so they get into a little argument and he he hits her really hard. And um, and that's what sets the book off. And, and, and the girl goes missing later in the day when the, the brother comes home and she's missing and the police start to look for her. And of course, we're all wondering, did the father really lose it? And do something to his daughter. But as the story goes on, there are many suspects and a lot of secrets going on that become uncovered in the whole. Uh, there's there's false information being given and people calling the police and so on. So there's a lot going on on that street that doesn't meet the eye in the beginning, but uh, it's twisty. Yes, like so many of your books. So there's always a lot going on on our suburban streets we may not be aware of. So where did you get the inspiration for this story? Do you know, I never really know. I, I just had the idea of a man dealing with a difficult child. And I knew that I wanted to look at a really challenging child and what it did to the parents, both um, each parent individually and how they would react to the child differently and also how it affected their marriage. Because I wanted to do something a little different um, with the problems between the man and the wife when the kids go missing. So instead of having the perfect child go missing, um, I had a, a family of a, a, parental unit was already divided. Yeah. Um, and I thought that was an interesting sort of opening into a missing child case. Absolutely. And I'm just getting into the psychology of it all. Um, the yeah. book title, I mean, everyone here is lying. Can you yourself spot a liar? How do we know if people all around our neighborhood are lying to us? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? I don't think I necessarily can. I mean, I, I know another writer who says she can always spot a liar. And I've got to talk to her about how she does that. But um, I think I read people pretty well, but I, I, I can't confidently say I can always spot a liar. I, I can't, I wish I could, but um, I can't even spot a sociopath or a psychopath because I've learned afterwards about a couple of people I've met that are psychopaths um, that I couldn't tell. So right. I just make it up. They're so good. <laughs> we just make it up. What is it that fascinates you so much about suburban life? You know what? I think it's because it's something I can relate to. It's not so much suburban. It's more like families, intimate relationships. And some of my books are set more urban. Um, and some are like the one I'm working on now. My next book is going to be set in rural Vermont. So that's a bit different. But they're all places where they're, I'm looking at intimate relationships, you know, families, couples, um, neighbors that you know well, friends. It's those those intimate relationships really that that inspire me that I find so interesting. I like the psychology of those. Yes. And of course, living with curiosity. It's my favorite thing. That's why I love mm -hmm. your work. Well, I'm a big fan of your work. So um, this is a very special interview. But yeah, it's just going through life and being curious and questioning and learning. It's just the best. And you bring it all out in your work. So thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you for reading and thank you for the interview. Oh, yes. Thank you for your work. Of course, um, everyone pick it up today. Everyone here is lying is out now. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. And I cannot wait for the, the next book. I got to clear some room on my book <laughs> <out> here. <laughs> it's, it's almost done. Oh, yay. This is so great. Thank yeah. you so much. I cannot wait. You